Hi, I'm Jenny Lane, co-leader of Aberdeen City Council and here we are in the Council Chamber where we set the Council budget for the coming year. And to be honest, it becomes increasingly difficult given the financial constraints we have and the increasing demand on our services. But it was very important to us that we make sure that the budget we set is changing people's lives, it's providing the frontline services they rely on. And that's why we've made sure it's aligned to our local outcome improvement plan, where we've laid out what the future should be for the city. We've tried to ensure that we've looked at innovative ways in which we can provide the frontline services that people rely on. It's been very important to us that we are tackling areas of poverty and deprivation that we have in our city. Um, that's why we've looked at ways in bringing forward policies that we think will make a difference. One of those was the preschool meals and the school holidays for people who maybe are struggling at that time. We've uh, made provision in the budget for that. The well-being of our citizens in Aberdeen is very important to this council. That's why we've looked to make provision within the budget for two new um, mental health support workers who can provide that early intervention for our children and young people in the city. An important measure, I believe, in our journey as we move forward. Education is always an important aspect in the city and it's been one of our top priorities throughout our administration. That's why we wanted to bring forward as part of our budget proposals that we retain the pupil support assistance in the classroom. We've put almost a million pounds into the budget to make sure that the 60 new posts that were introduced last year are retained because we believe they are the types of things that will make a difference to closing the gap and raising attainment in this city. We're keen to ensure that our economy grows as we move forward. That's why we want to make sure that small businesses are given a chance to grow. That's why we've invested in a cooperative business development fund, which will help us to support small businesses to grow and offer opportunities for people in the city. If Aberdeen's to prosper in the future, it's important that we invest in people, but we also need to invest in the place. That's why, as part of our capital programme, we're seeing huge investment in new community facilities, new schools, and indeed an extra £10 million being put into road improvements going forward over the next five years. We want to make sure that Aberdeen is fit for the future that we want and that's why we're investing within the city and the fabric of it. One of the major parts of our budget last week was our announcement about building council houses in the city. We have an ambitious target of 2,000, but I think if we are to prosper, if we're to ensure that we're providing the facilities for people who live here currently and attract new people into the city to live and work, we need to make sure that there's adequate affordable housing. That's why we've instructed officers to come back with concrete plans around how we can deliver this very ambitious target of 2,000 council houses in the city. We want to ensure our young people will have a bright future. And I look forward to those plans coming forward and on us delivering on those promises. Transport is another key issue for residents within Aberdeen. That's why we've put £132,000 into our budget to provide supported public transport within the city. We want to ensure that no matter where you live, you have that connectivity. We also want to look at ways in which we can protect our environment while encouraging people to get active. That's why we've invested heavily as a local authority in hydrogen transport. We want to ensure we have a cleaner, greener city for future generations. And that's why we've also asked our officers to look into providing a bike rental scheme within the city so we can get people out of cars, out onto the road in a safe environment and indeed becoming more active, which can only be good for the health and well-being of citizens going forward. As co-leaders, we recently signed the Active Aberdeen Pledge. We want to ensure we are providing people with the opportunities to improve their health and well-being. That's why, as part of the budget process, we've committed over a million pounds to Northfield Swimming Pool. We want to ensure that those facilities are right at the heart of communities so we can maximise the participation of local residents. In total, a budgeted spend of £950 million was set last week. I hope you can see that we've obviously spent money in various areas. 
We want to ensure that we invest not just in the people, but in the place of Aberdeen, because that's what will make us prosperous going forward. We want to ensure that investment means a bright future for Aberdeen and that we can create a place that everyone can be proud of.